Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, today is your love forecast, your monthly love forecast, so we can see where everything is, where love is. Um, this is a very important day that I'm doing these readings, as it is a palindrome day. Um, 2-2-2020. Two, two, 20, 20. That means it reads the same forward as it does backwards. And a date like this hasn't come about. I think this is like 900 years that we've seen a date um, like this before. And so this is a very, very special day. That's why I really wanted to do these readings on this day. Now, just know that when I do these readings, sometimes they turn into not just a love reading, but advice on what needs to take place in your life. So we never know which way this is going to go. Um, even though our focus is love. If you're joining us for the first time, thank you so much. And hello to our cross watchers. Um, if you want to go ahead and fast forward through this part and you've already seen my introduction, please go ahead and do that now. Um, but I do want to make sure I give you instructions on what to expect from this reading. Now you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some even your Venus sign. And I did say hello to our cross watchers out there. You guys, um, we are on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. I post weekly energies over there where you can actually select the cards that resonate with you and, and use it as a guidance for that week. So go ahead and join us over at Lotus Love Tarot 555 on Instagram. We are on Patreon as well. Soon I'll be doing the Mercury Retrograde Survival Readings that will only be open to our Patreon membership. Um, so please, if you have not, go join us over at Patreon as well. Information pertaining to that can be found below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel hit the like button of the video that you're watching right now even if it doesn't resonate with you but you feel like it'll be beneficial to someone else and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and next to is a little bell hit that bell and every time we release a reading you will be notified of that okay um uh, once again don't forget i do private readings information pertaining to the private readings can be found below i have already pre-shuffled the card so we don't have to spend a lengthy amount of time of, of shuffling not unless spirit says we we need to so i always try to tell people don't rush the spirit okay we're going to let those cards fall the way they need to fall okay and i'm not going to add any more to it or i'm not going to take anything away um but i really really like to take time and making sure we do we do a proper shuffle in that and let me see i think that is all i need to share with you guys yes it is now on to your reading you guys, before I get into the shuffle, I do want to also state that there's no time limit on these readings, okay? So it could have happened three months ago, can happen today, or it could happen in the near future, okay? Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Leos. Okay, let's get right into your reading. And I was looking at your reading back from um, January. And it was what in the world was going on? You needed to clean that mess up. So let's just see where you are now. And remember now, the messages can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Or you could be picking up an energy that's surrounding you, a situation that you're surrounded uh, around right now, okay? All right, so let's just see what's going on now. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for February 2020? What messages need to go for? Whoa. Okay. It's like somebody just handed those to me. Wow. Okay. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go for for the sign of Leah as it relates to the love forecast for February 2020? What messages need to go for for the sign of Leah? Okay, I can't put this back in. Okay. Oh, it's actually two of them. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for February? Make sure no flippers. Okay, got two more again. Okay, so the spirit of my creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for February 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? Love forecasts. Okay. Okay, so the spirit of my creator. 
Spirit of the Universe with messages number four. Four, the sign of Leo as it relates to the love for past four, February 2020. What messages need to go? Wow. Okay, make sure no flippers. All right, let's see where we are. Engagement. All right, so your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So if you're with someone, it's going deeper. If you are single, okay, this could become an infuse of relationship where it's going to be, get to the uh, to the space of wanting even to be engaged. For some of you, it could mean an actual engagement. You're attracted to this person, okay? So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So your friends could be introducing you to someone. Okay? So you could be in a situation where you're asking your friends about this person. Um, and so they're saying, let your friends help you. I mean, this could resonate a, whole, a, a lot of different ways. But apparently this is coming in that's somebody that you, you are attracted to. Okay? Or you could be in a relationship. It's going deeper. It's going deeper. Okay? And, uh, and y'all are attracted to one another. The Spirit is saying you need to consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So you may be questioning something. It may not have to do with this relationship. But whatever you're questioning, Spirit is saying, get a little bit more information about it, okay? You know, make sure you get an understanding. This, this, that could be anything that's going on in your life. But it's something that you've been thinking about. The Spirit said, I need for you to get a little bit more information about this. I need for you to have a little bit more understanding about this situation in your life before you kind of make a decision. Okay? Tranquility. You're looking for peace. You just want peace right now in your life. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. So Spirit is saying, listen, I need you just to, you need to take care of yourself. You really, really just need to take care of yourself. Honor and trust your feelings. So what you're feeling about a situation, trust that, you're, that, that your intuition is right. The Spirit is also telling you to shield yourself. So shield yourself from people, from negative energy, um, from those around you that don't serve your highest good. Protect yourself from that, right? And perfect timing. This is the right time to move forward. So this th this situation right here that you're needing to get more information about, after you get that information, this is the time to move forward, okay? This is the time to move forward. Could be moving forward in your relationship, but hey, here it is right here. Spirit says it's an opportunity. So it's an opportunity that's about to come your way that you're going to really need to get more information about. I know that's not kind of, you know, a, a love reading right now, but that can go along with it because if you're in a relationship, you want to make sure you're being the best person that you can be, okay? And so apparently, apparently somebody's getting a wake-up call about something. You're getting a wake-up call about something. You're getting an understanding about something. That's a judgment card. Okay, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? As it relates to the love forecast for February 2020. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's, I feel like it's a huge opportunity that has come your way. Or maybe you're already in it because there's no time limit to this. You know, there's no specific timing on this reading. Okay. What messages need to go for? For the sign of Leo. Here we got a flipper. my love you have the empress queen of swords in reverse ten of swords five of cups and your overarching energy is the moon okay you do have an angel number coming through you have a ten and a five here so that's five 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 so make sure you look up that angel message that's coming through for you you could be dealing with a taurus um uh, could be dealing with aquarius gemini libra with these swords here Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or could be uh, a Pisces here with the moon. Uh, but your overarching energy, this is unseen problems. So this could be problems that's happening in the background. This also could mean they're trusting your intuition. And I'm feeling more that it's not so much about problems that are, are happening in the background that you can't see. I think this is spirit is telling you, you need to trust your intu intuition. But this also represents changes that need to take place in your life. 
This represents voluntary change. These are changes that you're going to do, changes that you feel like you need to be made in your life. And it may be because so you can get this opportunity right here. But this is abundance, you know. The, the starting off with the Empress, I mean, this is a good space to be in. This is understanding where you are. This is, when I'm looking at this peace, this is the peace. You know, honor and trusting your feelings. I'm looking at that, and that relates to the moon. You know, we're having your your intuition, but this is definitely abundance, and it could be rep could be a tied to a Taurus, okay, that you may be um, dealing with, but it uh, could be tied to this opportunity that you need to get more information about from you know consulting the expert. So, um, but with this Queen of Swords in reverse, you know, this is this is somebody who. Definitely, um, with the Queen of Swords, she's she's very flighty. You know, she's she's a very flighty person. Um, she's cold heart. This is bitter. Okay, so it might be something that you're bitter about. That you know, just the burdens are just too much. And, and by it being swords, you know, it's all in your head. You just you just thinking too much. Um, this means that you know, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, that it can't get any worse. You know, it just it just can't get any worse. But maybe this is somebody who you were dealing with that's bitter, that's cold. Uh, could be somebody from your past that you know the relationship just couldn't get any worse, and you know you just decided to just you know this is just lost. You just decided to listen. I, I'm going. I was I was focusing on what I lost, but I got to see. There's two behind me, two cups behind me that's still standing. And so you only thing you have to do is just turn around and see. That's where your opportunity is. Your opportunities there. I feel like you kind of maybe have went back to the past and was looking at things from the past because he is faced in this direction because all the loss is behind you. The only thing you need to do is turn around and look forward. Okay. Only thing you need to do is turn around and just to look forward, and that's where it is. Okay. Even though I feel like by this lining up like this, you are your mind. You you were in that space. You you've been in that good space. You know you are. You know this is not gender specific, but you really felt good about yourself. You know had abundance or what have you. But so some type of way you you went back. Okay. And uh, you, you started thinking about things from your past, and it kind of took that away from you. And so now your focus needs to go back to the future and what this opportunity is, okay? What this opportunity is, and making sure you trust your intuition. Yeah, because you felt like you were out in the cold. So something had you, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, something had you thinking you were out in the cold. Um, you know, they're walking past a church here. This is a stained glass window from the church. So maybe you feel like the church may have turned their back on you. Okay. But somebody's here, regardless of the state that you're in, somebody's been with you along the way as you, as you were going through your struggle. So don't ignore this person right here who is, and it could be this person over here that you're attracted to. Okay. That they're with you in your struggle. Even though you fell out in the cold, you really weren't because you had somebody there with you all alone. But now it's time to move towards this opportunity, okay? And just make sure you really trust your intuition. Your, and your intuition is not, see, it says here, honor and trust your feelings. Just honor and trust your feelings, okay? Yeah, because it's going to come in fast. Or it may become, this opportunity is coming fast. It's coming in fast for you. It's coming in fast. As soon as you get more information, okay, if this opportunity is coming in fast. And just really know who you are as it comes in. Yeah, because it might be bringing you long-term security. So don't hold back. Don't hold back because this is going to bring you long-term security. This is going to bring you long-term security. Okay, let's just see where we are. And once again, don't forget the, the timing is perfect for the steps that you're about to make. This is perfect timing. And I feel like it's just going to enhance your relationship, okay? It's just going to enhance your relationship, bring you guys closer. That's one thing I love about the, where's that card? The uh, Five of Pentacles. Where's that card at? What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. That's what I love about this card is that there's somebody with you. You know, even though the state, you know, it's snowing outside, they, their clothes aren't, aren't you know, uh, appropriate for the kind of weather. You know, he's limping and all disabled, what have you. But they're together. They're, they're, they're fighting this situation that they're in together. Okay? All right. And that's, I, love, I love that about that part. No matter what problems I go through, if I have somebody going through it with me, it doesn't seem as bad. 
okay? What's the final message for the sign of Leo? As it relates to the love forecast for February 2020, okay? When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and, your, and the memories you have shared with those you love. See, that's what I'm, I'm just saying it with this card. Whoever this person is, they love you. They love you no matter what happens. They're going to be with you through the thick and the thin. But as you move towards this opportunity, they're going to be blessed as well. Okay? Just, just let your intuition guide you. Let your intuition guide you. Because when you pass from this world, you'll take nothing with you but your soul and the memories of those who share with the... What's that? Let me read that again. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. That's beautiful. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.